I hope everyone's having a great morning. I am Srish. Thank you for joining me for this single limit question provided to me by a certain person who couldn't solve it from their end of chapter questions from their calculus textbook. They wanted my perspective as to how I would go about solving it. So I'm doing it right here for all of you in this video. We have limit as n approaches infinity 1 over n. Then this entire series inside the parentheses 1 over n to the power of 9 plus 2 over n to the power of 9 plus 3 over n to the power of 9 going all the way up to n over n to the power of 9. What would be a good way of solving this? I'll show you how I would go about doing it. I'm looking here and thinking about using the laws of exponents for the part which is in the parentheses. I have 1 over n sitting outside. I'm looking at everything separated by means of laws of exponents. 1 to the power of 9 divided by n to the power of 9 and you can do the similar procedure all the way across and there's nothing wrong with you doing that because it helps you take this question forward. I'm looking at now everything in the parentheses. I have a commonality here in the denominator which can be isolated. Look right here. It looks like a series. You have everything in the numerator increasing by one but everything in the denominator stays the same. It looks like a series representation to me. Let's isolate the denominator and bring it out. We have limit as n approaches infinity, we have 1 over n. I'm isolating here 1 over n to the 9 and then in the parentheses now I have just these items here. As you see, everything is turning out in a good way. When you're looking at this, you can combine this and you can consolidate that to 1 over n to the power of 10. You can now from this point solve it in two ways. All of these items, 1 to the power of 9, 2 to the power of 9 onwards, are relatively irrelevant in the face of that. And you could just eliminate those and you're really just looking at this. And then you would consolidate that again and you would have limit as n approaches infinity of n to the power of 9 or n to the power of 10, which is really 1 over n, which is really 1 over infinity, infinity coming here and your answer here can be zero and it would be right. That would be one way of doing it. Another way without doing this assumption would be all of these items here represent a certain constant and we'll call that constant A. Now we're looking at limit as n approaches infinity. We can still combine these items here. We have one over n to the power of 10 and then we have A plus n to the power of nine. When you're doing just an arbitrary plugging in of that infinity in places of n, you're really looking at something which is an infinity or infinity and indeterminate limit form. You have that, so you could do essentially a derivative of the numerator, derivative of the denominator. In all cases, the n is a variable here. You'll be looking at limit as n approaches infinity. The derivative of this numerator is not hard. The a is a constant, derivative of constants is a zero. You're just looking at n to the nine, it becomes nine n to the power of eight. The derivative of the denominator becomes 10 n to the power of nine. You could simplify this, you'd have nine or 10 n. And then when you put infinity over here, you're looking at really one or infinity, which again zeroes out. Zero would be the answer for this limit question and I would be confident that this answer here for this limit expression is good. Limit as n approaches infinity, this entire expression or this entire function, if you want to call it, would equal or approach a zero. And that right there would be the end of this video. Thank you for watching.